Hi everyone, how's it going? I hope your March is going well so far. Did any of you catch the Harry and Meghan interview with Oprah on Monday? Um, I'm not exactly a royalist, but I'm not anti-royalist either. Um, my opinion is more if the royal family doesn't bother me, I don't bother them. Um, but I did find it interesting how Polish the monarchy was literally trending um, for the entire day on Monday. Um, but And I do understand the sentiment behind abolishing the monarchy. It is outdated. It is rooted in oppression, racism, um, you know, and social status, which are archaic um but anyway um royal family uh controversies aside um i hope you're all still wearing your masks and washing your hands and social distancing um we can't lill up just because there's a vaccine you know so have you figured out where you're getting your mum or your mother figure sorry i had to say that slowly because i can't pronounce it mother figure <laughs> for mother's day um, do check out my last upload where I recommend some amazing gift ideas, including subscriptions, skincare bundles, and much, much more. Um, and I do include some thoughtful gestures for the people them that can't afford that much at the moment as well. Um, also, shout out to the Left Book Club who gave me small, small exposure on Twitter over the weekend. Um, if you're new here and you don't know who they are, um, they offer monthly book subscriptions by left-wing authors. Um, I do talk about them in my first ever video, um, so I'll probably put a link here. So do go ahead and check it out. Also, if you are on Twitter, um, you can follow me at NicoleishXO. Um, so today I'm going to do my first ever review. Um, but I'm going to do my first ever wig review. And I'm really excited to show you this synthetic crimped wig I ordered from Elevate Styles. Um, the wig looks so nice, um, on first impression anyway, it looks so nice. Uh, but before we get into it, um, please make sure to like, comment and subscribe. Don't be a pagan man, at least subscribe to my channel, okay? <laughs> um, so I don't yeah. want to waste any more time, so let's get into the review. It's a whole lot of money in this called the main concept red carpet i've got to read it out because the name is so long um this wig is called the main concept red carpet six inch deep pre plucked part hd melting lace front wig rchm 203 lumi and i got it in the color one um so i am familiar with this brand um i did used to have a blonde like a short blonde curly wig um i'll probably insert pics of them somewhere most likely here um and it was really good quality like fam like these people they know about longevity <laughs> that's all i'm gonna say so i ordered a wig from an american website called elevate styles and it cost me 51 dollars 98 in total including the delivery fees um which according to today's exchange rate is 37 pounds and 43 pence however um the custom charge was ridiculous um it was 16 pounds hold on i've got it here the custom charge was 16 pounds 78 literally just for um one week so i'm not gonna lie i'm not sure if i'm going to want to order um from america again um just because it's just a synthetic wig i don't think paying 16 pounds on top of a wig that's supposed to be quite cheap is worth it um i do wish that there were more um uk-based retailers that stocked these kinds of hairstyles so if any of you know of any do let me know in the comment section and also if there's any black owned ones um let me know as well because we are trying to support black business out here um so first impressions of the wig um yeah it is a lot longer than i initially thought so that's my fault for not paying attention to the picture properly um it's not a big deal um i do i do like really really long hair um to be honest the wig that i usually wear in my videos is 30 inches long um it's not the it's not this week this is a different one um but i do wear the 30 inch much more for show than anything else but i do tend to find that the longer the hair is the more it tangles so you get less wear out of them unfortunately however um on first look at this wig the quality looks really good um so i'm not gonna lie the synthetic hair industry <laughs> they're doing bits you know <laughs> um 
so i've never actually worn a crimped hair before so i'm excited to see how it looks on me um but before i try it on um so i'm just going to show you like the wig cap and stuff so this is how it looks yeah so there's there is combs in the cap there's two at the front i'll just show it to you so there's two wigs at the front one at the back and also you have these adjustable straps so honest, usually i don't really use the adjustable straps although i should shouldn't i to get that extra security <laughs> um but yeah so the parting also is six inches as well um and i'm not gonna lie it is called a invisible lace wig isn't it and i'm not gonna lie it does look invisible i just get it on my skin tone so you can see obviously it doesn't really match my skin tones um but i think for the scalp it will be fine um and also i did try this wig on before filming this video but literally it was so brief um so what i'm going to do is i most likely will try this wig on off camera um so when i come back um we could talk a bit more about the wig and i'll just tell you my thoughts of it and yeah my final impressions so i'll be right back hi guys so i'm back um so what i did is i cut the lace off and um i actually didn't pluck the parting um i just thought it would just be too time consuming but what i did do was i just added a bit of my concealer um i actually wasn't going to but then when i actually looked at the hair on camera you could see like a big difference between like the color of the invisible lace and my actual scalp um so i just thought i just added a little bit of concealer um and i didn't glue the wig down either um even when i'm going out um i don't really glue my wigs anyway as it's just too time consuming and i take long enough <laughs> um getting ready um without doing all of that um but i do tend to find that these wigs you can kind of get away with just kind of like putting it on and just going um obviously it depends on how pedantic you are about how your wigs look um i can't do baby hairs i'm not really i don't really have the patience for all of that gluing and waiting for it to dry and that whole entire process so i actually don't mind just adding a bit of makeup and yeah just going um so yeah so this is the look on me <clears throat> on me and i'm not gonna lie this wig is so gorgeous um one of the first things i thought when i was looking in the mirror was like literally this is like princess vibes like i'm going to have to double check the picture but i was literally just thinking of oh like princess jasmine or something like that like it's so gorgeous like it really gives me this um yeah princess vibes although we don't support the monarchy out here <laughs> um but anyway so just let's just go through some of the details of the wig so in regards to the length i'm not actually sure how um like in regards to like inches how long this unit is um but it is i think it does go like past my hips um and it touches my thigh but i guess i'm sitting down um I would get up but i'm not sure hold on if i can get up and show you no it's not gonna work okay so i tried to get up and show you guys but you're not gonna be able to see the full length i'm five foot i'm five foot eight or five foot nine and it's pretty long on me so if you are a tall um person it will be quite long on you and even if you're short it'll be even longer <laughs> um so yeah moving on to the wig cap um i did find that it went on quite easily i didn't actually have to use the adjustable uh, um adjustable straps but to tell the truth i don't usually um use those straps when i wear a wig i kind of just put it on and put it off um but i did find that um with the with the concealer i probably do need to do it properly a bit more but with the concealer the um cap and the lace seems to blend in just fine um in regards to the crimps i'm really happy with it um in regards to longevity i'm not really sure how long these crimps will hold for 
Um, I haven't really had a crimped wig before, nor have I worn like crimps, like even with like real virgin hair either, or done any kind of crimped hairstyle. So I'm not really sure um, how long it will stay like this. Um, so what I most likely will do is I'll have to post an update um, to show you guys the condition after I've actually worn it out. Um, and in regards to heat as well, I'm not really sure. There's nothing on the actual label that talks about whether you can put heat on it. But I imagine that you can. I don't know if you would need to at this point other than maybe if you're trying to flatten the top. Um, but I'm not going to lie. I'm really feeling this look, you know. <laughs> um, so most likely I'm going to take some pictures and most likely I will post something on my Instagram. Um, so do go ahead and follow me um, for some updates and to see the final look. So thank you so much for watching my review. Um, I would put a direct link to the wig in the description box, but unfortunately um, this specific unit isn't on the website anymore. But as soon as they restock or I find alternatives, um, I'll make sure to drop a link, um, most likely on my Instagram. Um, so if you like the wig or if, or if you have any other questions about it, do let me know in the comment section. Um, and as I said, I'll most likely do an update on the wig once I've worn it out a couple of times. Um, um, just to see how it um, see how it fares um, when I'm battling the elements. So hold on before you go, um, do make sure to check out my other videos. I am going to put some links at the end of the video so you can check them out. And that's everything. So I'll see you next time and have a great week. Okay, take care. Bye. I'm allergic to that no shit, my wrist game on cold I might pick my coupe white just to match with my toes Yeah, I can't wear the shit